Hello everybody, welcome to Snyder's Inc. Hope you're having a great weekend. I'm recording this on Saturday. You're getting it on Monday. It's the second upload I promised you guys for today. I know there is a light behind me, but I think the way I'm positioned kind of blocks it, so hopefully it does. Um, I'll turn it off after this video, so I mean, I'm recording a lot of stuff ahead of time because... I got plans for the week, for uh, the week, you know what I'm saying? So, what we got today, well this is from uh, a new channel we're doing here called Bill Knows, really weird channel name, but it's top 20 creepy videos of strange things and scary stuff. So let's see, uh... That might be another one I hear. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't listen. Anyway, uh, let's get, let's get in this. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let's go. The scary videos on this terrifying top twenty list contain strange things caught on camera of scary stuff that either needs explaining or needs to be run away from. Sometimes both. Yep. Number 20. This creepy video is way too scary for anyone with a fear of bridges. Would you be brave enough to cross this creaky bridge? As this scary video shows, the Verrazzano Bridge connecting New York to Brooklyn stretched to its absolute limits on November of 2020 during a storm. The support cables stretch and crack, sounding more like a ship at sea rather than- Oh, no, 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 I'm staying in Brooklyn or New York or wherever the hell this takes me. I'm staying there, man. You ain't getting me going nowhere. Nope, nope. Nope. I'll stay wherever I am for one more night until this thing gets its ass in gear. Now, don't trust the bridge at all. Don't trust the bridge at all. Other than a stable bridge. Everyone has been evacuated off of it because it could collapse at any moment. This is probably the scariest bridge video I've seen since London's Millennium Bridge, which opened in 2000 and quickly became more unstable with each step. The large number of people crossing makes the bridge sway back and forth in a way that was never supposed to occur. Believe it or not, the bridge was left open for two days before being shut down for repairs. After watching this scary video, I'm shocked it was allowed to operate for even two minutes. Let a yeah, that looks like an unstable bridge of all hell. What the hell are you allowing that stay for two more days? I wouldn't allow it over. Yeah. Especially while you're allowing that amount of people on. It's insane to me. I wouldn't have that... Just, 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 that was meant to go long. Alone two days. Number 19. In this unexplained video, it's dark outside and scary sounds are filling the night sky. Terrifying sounds that should be reserved only for the scariest places on earth. Not an average quiet neighborhood like this one. Between each of the scary noises, I can't tell. Like, there could be like a giant plane or something that's like really close to the thing, but I feel like you would see it. So yeah, I have no idea what that is. I have no explanation for that. Let's see if he's got any. This is an unsettling pause, and the lack of noise is somehow just as creepy as the noises are. Like a giant unknown creature is screaming and gasping for breath. The scariest moments of this video occur at 33 seconds. He's recording on the second floor of his house, looking out the window in disbelief, when the noises change to eerie, weird humming sounds. And 
while these scary noises fill the sky. In the darkness glows two white eyes. Okay, then he saw what I saw. I was going to point those out, but I thought because it it was ever, I thought these might just be regular lights on the street. That's what kind of was I was thinking. So I'm glad he did point those out because I was wondering if they might be regular lights or if they might be something I need to point out. Giant, spaced apart, and looking his way. This creepy video shows some stuff that is simply too scary and best left unexplained. Number 18. This creepy clip has caught a wandering white light on video that cannot be easily explained. In the startling CCTV footage, what appears to be the vague outline of a possible ghost is spotted slipping away into the woods. When the alleged apparition fully disappears, a motion light turns on by itself even though no one is there. Some believe this is a real ghost video, while others claim the mysterious figure is editing or else a trick of the light. Even with those supposed explanations in mind, Yeah, so here's my thing with that. If, let's say, the ghost that is edited, how does the light come on? What made the light come on, then? Because it can't be an insect, because I probably deal with insects all the time. Like, they're, they're probably way more... I feel like the light is not meant to track insects, because light will never be off. So I would feel it would have to track something that's really good sent like a human or an, like an actual creep like an actual animal so yeah i am curious what it caught here having such a strange encounter would have me freaked out and wondering if the surrounding woods were haunted number 17. this creepy video shows an unexplained incident that has a crowd in brooklyn freaking out so it's raining in one spot just the single spot Nowhere what? else. It's one spot. It's what? Raining. Oh, hold on. The mysterious events look and sound like rain, but could water be pouring off a building? A broken pipe, perhaps? Probably not. In the next video, taken on the other side of the world, the rainy patch is contained to one section in the middle of the road in a way that no one can explain. Thank you. Oh, no. I have no explanation. I was trying to come up with some, I liked his. I can't come up with something for this. I have it. They were literally walking. On the on the other side of the I ain't got nothing. This is. That's weird. That's creepy. I, I don't know how I'd react to that if I saw that in person. That's so weird. It's weird. That's so weird. It has the distinct pitter patter of rain, but how is this happening? No one has been able to explain so far, and the strange phenomenon looks even weirder during the day. You even get the police, but you see the police guy there? He's even so like, far, and the strange phenomenon. Look he's there, that's a police car, and he stopped, just stopped his tracks watching it. He has no explanation for it either. He's just like. It, He's as baffled as they are. Looks even weirder during the day. It's raining there, as you can see. And when you come over here, it's not. It isn't raining at all up there. It's raining right there. I guess a single... Hold on, wait. That... Raining. That could be off of that. In all fairness, because we don't see. That could just be someone pouring like a bucket of water off a building. Or something like something that would make it so it only would come in like it's raining. Like. It would be hard for me to believe. That's right. Because the other people, we don't know if they get. Hold on, let me go back. I want to go back. It's raining. There, as you can see, and I'm trying to see if I can tell if they're react because they were not reacting to the rain. They're more just kind of looking up at those people, looking like 
like it's normal just glancing at them. So I feel like this one might be just them. And when you come over here, it's not. It isn't raining at all up there. Raining right there. I guess a single rain cloud isn't that unusual, but the fact that it stays completely in place is quite odd. She's standing right at the edge where it's not raining, and now she's in the rain. And we got a good stiff breeze here today. But out of all these... Okay, see, that will, see the la if that girl had not walked into it, reacted to it, then again, it could be something related to her do just pretending she's in the rain. But but the way it looks, like, okay, she might help that case there. Strange videos. This one has got to be the weirdest. How does a heavy storm stay in place like this? It refuses to cross a certain line. Much of the road is still completely dry. Number 16. Yeah, that's fucking weird. Team. Sorry for my language, but I, that's weird. A dramatic drone video shows no. the aftermath of a scary situation no. caught over Olivia, Minnesota. No. This is what happens when the ground opens up and swallows a car. Oh my. The vehicle hangs precariously over the ledge by a single wheel, and the driver was able to barely scramble to safety before going over. The scariest part of this video is, aside from the massive sinkhole, how this stretch of road looks no different than any other. According to Google, the only warning sign is a dent in the road surrounded by cracks which could describe a lot of roads. Basically, there's no way to tell when the ground is going to open up like oh. this, which is scary stuff to think about, considering it can happen almost anywhere. Number 15. Yeah, I have, there's no, there's no way. There's no way to figure that out. Some strange and scary moments were caught on a live television news broadcast in Australia in a bizarre incident that needs to be solved. Okay. Take a listen as the news reporter tries to describe weird stuff creeping across the radar that should not exist and cannot be explained. Here are those mysterious patterns, the blue shades here showing up on the radar from the Gold Coast initially, then spreading up towards Brisbane this afternoon. But a quick look out the window shows completely clear skies, no cloud, just a little bit of smoke haze around. The creeping blue cloud represents a mysterious mist-like substance that converges into a single formation over southeast Queensland. And yet everything looks normal on local cameras behind him. No clouds of doom are in sight. What's really weird about this video? I mean, this is a weather guy, right? So this is a guy who makes good off controversy and getting attention because then more people watch the new stuff and they do well. Um, also, the camera they're using probably isn't live. Like... I'm guessing it's not live. It's probably footage they got beforehand. So... Could mean any... Doesn't mean exactly he's honest. As they don't seem to think the radar equipment is messing up. Or at least that possibility is never mentioned. They seem very certain that... Hold on, here's what I've noticed. Hold on, wait, wait. I want... I'm more curious when this was done because you see radar and this is telling you when it's going to happen. So you ain't noticing that they don't point this out. See, 1 p.m. and it's barely anything. What's really weird about this video two p is they don't see 2 p.m. It's growing to think the radar equipment is messing up or at least that and 3 p.m. It's taken over and it's going into the thing. So if this is being done in the morning, there's, yeah, I could see it being cloudy, in the he it not being cloudy and anything like that, because this probably is going to come way, right close, right at 1 o'clock. That possibility is never mentioned. They seem very certain the mystery substance is real, and are careful never to say what it is, only that experts are baffled. While nothing has ever been confirmed, it's either way, it's definitely not rain. Weather equipment has become pretty sophisticated, and false reads are rare. What were these strange things caught on radar? And what was everyone secretly breathing in on that day? This happened in September of 2021. And as far as I can tell, it was never mentioned again. Number 14. 
Strange CCTV footage has one person in Southfield, Michigan, afraid her house could be haunted by the paranormal. Video evidence shows a white orb floating away at two seconds, only to return as a creepy weird white mist, a ghost sighting the homeowner fears. After one pass over her precious pets, the bizarre shape mysteriously disappears. It doesn't look like her cat sees a ghost, or at least they don't have a reaction, but she doesn't know what kind of creepy stuff is haunting her room, and so her natural reaction is to be fearful. More than anything, she wants to know how to tell if this is an orb moving in front of the camera or dust particles. I would say she has nothing to worry about. Number 13. This small reservoir might not be cause for alarm where you live, but in Australia, giant creatures lurk under the shallowest of waters. It's because that's censored, do I want to know what's on that thing? What did you what did you kill to put on that thing? Scary. How even when examining the water close up, there's no way to tell that a giant crocodile is creeping up until it's too late. The crocodile leaps out of the water and lands by the man in exactly one second flat, barely enough time. That's one humongous goddamn freaking alligator or crocodile. That is something you ain't gonna fuck with. Oh, I wouldn't be messing playing with that thing. Nah, that thing is gonna get you. If that thing, you piss that thing off, that thing is gonna stop coming for that thing on the thingy. Thing on the rope. It's because I come for your sticking ass, and you're going to be dragged into that wall never to be seen again. Time for the man to jump away. What's even scarier than that is getting close to a crocodile that is wild and willing to attack humans. Just the size of its tail alone is about as large as an adult. For you to come near it would make me believe it's dead, so I'm going to guess this one's dead. And could knock you off your feet. This one seems to know it's outnumbered on both sides, and so it slinks back into the swampy waters. The humans, having already seen what this animal can do underwater, stay away from a second crocodile attack. Number 12. They have balls though to even go after that thing. Well, you may have heard of the haunted Stanley Hotel, but few know of the Shanley Hotel in Napanock, New York. This is where a I'm not sure if I know this one or not. A ghost named Claire is said to roam on the third floor. And one day, Claire decided she needed company to help haunt her room. According to the hotel owner, one day his pet cat went up to the third floor and refused to leave. It lived on the third floor for the rest of its life, and apparently beyond its life as well. The hotel owner knows his building is haunted and so he sets up paranormal equipment to capture Claire on camera. He never expected to have this non-human ghost sighting instead. In this creepy clip, a strange and mysterious figure walks across the hallway with its tail in the air, a ghost cat he claims. He can tell by the tail and by its walk that this former pet is back at it again. I have no comment to that. Other visitors often claim to have the same sighting of a ghost cat on the third floor, a fast-moving feline that mysteriously disappears before it's finished crossing the hall. Number 11. A video from Japan gets scary when the camera begins to shake and someone runs across the building screaming with fear. That's what I thought, the more you said, the more I heard him say, oh, the thing's shaking, I'm like, we're gonna see an earthquake footage. Oh, this is gonna be creepy. But... Loud banging noises sound as if the building is coming apart. People are pressed against the wall, and fifth... This guy! Just look at this guy, I was hating this all. This guy is sitting here like he deals this on a daily basis. I mean, I know Japan has this history with some guy that this guy's reaction is beyond what I believe. 51 stories in the air is not when you want to hear this frightening message. Oh, A tour guide ahead. runs over and takes control to keep everyone from panicking. She has the scared group take a knee so they won't fall over. They wait in did this position do, to make oh, sure there too. are no aftershocks. I I the earthquake the is over for now. This eerie earthquake video 
has an especially disturbing backstory, considering this footage was taken on November 3rd, 2011. One week later, the strongest earthquake in Japanese history triggered a tsunami that ended over 20,000 lives. So they dealt with an earthquake two weeks in a row. One that was minor, that was pretty much a warning, hey, we're gonna get some earthquakes. They took it as, okay, we've dealt with that earthquake. And then like, no, man, here's the real earthquake. That's all, that was so big, it caused a tsunami to kill 20 million, oh my god. That is insane. That's a humongous amount of people at the kill. Number 10. How many of them were unfound? Oh my god. Oh my god. Ten. Disturbing doorbell cam footage recorded by a scared resident in New Hampshire what the hell is depicts that? a weird white light in the sky. What is that? Although there's no sound in this clip, witnesses from all over called 911 to report hearing a loud booming noise overhead. Then the object mysteriously disappears. Rumors are spreading fast about what this light could be. I got no answer for that. Meteors could be a shooting star. Could be a meteor. That's probably my guess. One of the two. Sightings tend to look like the one in this video, and meteors can make a variety of strange noises in the sky. According to the American Meteor Society, when a meteor burns up in Earth's atmosphere, it creates a fireball effect, which is probably what's going on here. The one in the video must have come really close to Earth to make a fireball seen from miles away. When a meteor crash lands, it becomes an asteroid, and when that happens, neighborhoods like this one become little more than a smoking crater. Number 9. A strange and mysterious video from northern Italy shows what could be an unidentified creature sighting in Lake Garda. The camera zooms in to show something giant staying just below the Oh, for the love of Christ, there's nothing even, that, that's not anything impressive to me. The water level, an underwater creature they suspect. No. Some comments claim this is a rare phenomenon with the currents, but no one has been able to really describe how it works, and I was unable to find any more information about it. It's just a weird thing with the water, it doesn't mean it's a creature, relax. Overall, there's not enough video evidence to tell if this is a real creature sighting one it's way not. or the other. It's not. Since the head and body are never revealed. It's not. Something underwater is causing this. And whatever it is, looks giant. But is it a creature? No. no. Number no, 8. No, not. Nope. Creepy things continue to get caught on camera at the Watts house where the second floor is said to be haunted by Bella and Celeste. Oh, oh, I hate this case so much. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I watched a documentary on Netflix recently about this thing. Oh, my God. Oh, I want to cry every time I hear this. The two little girls whose lives were taken by Chris, their father. While examining into the windows, the vague outline of a spooky face briefly materializes against the glass, then disappears. You might have to watch the video twice to see the face in the back. I'll watch it 20 times, I don't see it. Ground. And it could be a reflection of something else outside, but its slight smile is really scary stuff to see. When he goes up to the door, he thinks he has another ghost sighting of a small, fast-moving shadow person by the stairs. There is a strange motion from right to left that he says looks like a small figure running. Other people either. have had similar sightings here and believe it could be the ghost of a child. When you zoom in between the third and fourth rail, there... Okay, see, that's more... That, there you go. That Now you got something. ...could be the outline of a head... Nothing beats the police footage, though. Just saying. ...head. Number seven. Nothing beats the damn police. You ever seen? If you ain't seen it, look at the police footage. Where they're entering the thing, you see a person coming down the stairs that's not there, and then you see the freaking, you hear the voice when they're in the one room. Go do them two. Them two are the ones you talk about. Those are good ones. 
These scary moments were caught on video at a police station in Malaysia. Ooh. A ghost opens the door with enough force to crack the glass, or at least Ooh. that's what the officers say, who are now exploring the possibility that the building is haunted. The weirdest part of this video is how shortly before the door slams by itself, this second set of doors mysteriously opens in the opposite direction. Strong winds are probably why these doors are opening and closing on their own. When the far doors blew open, it could have created a wind tunnel to make the other doors blow open twice as hard the opposite way. That's possible. That's possible. Well, more, yeah, because I, I didn't notice the second one. I thought this guy, my original thing, I was going to say fake because this guy got up at the exact perfect time this happened. But I didn't notice the second door was open. Number six. Paranormal investigators continue to find more video evidence to prove the Queen Mary ship is one of the scariest places on Earth. I would want to get on this ship so badly, you have no idea. This time, a ghost hunting group called Planet Paranormal Investigations goes down to the abandoned pool area to research a place where the ghost of a little girl named Jackie is said to haunt. What they've caught on camera during these scary moments is chilling. It's not me. They're par that 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 is weird because that is sounds like a little girl whispering mommy and mom. That's that's freaking weird. Oh, that gave me chills. A normal experience is fast and frightening. Two EVP recordings of what they suspect is Jackie's ghost are caught on video. And both times, it sounds like a child whispering for their mom. Oh. If this is a... Oh, no. You better get to work in there, boys. I'll give it a moment. This is the worst of my videos where they become really slow and they don't want to work for no real reason. If this is a real paranormal video, then it's both terrifying and heartbreaking that a ghost would be trapped down, scared and alone, asking for its mother in the darkness. Yeah, that is creepy. In all honesty, that is really creepy to think that some ghost, I'm just going to keep it on middle screen because I feel like I'm going to have to be chatting for a while the way the internet's working right now. Um, yeah, just disconnected. There you go. I'm just going to take this off for a moment. Um, but yeah, it is really creepy to think that a ghost would be stuck in a thing, in a place by itself. A little girl ghost stuck, just asking for its mother. That is like a thought you don't really want in your head. Creepy stuff, indeed. Number five, it's late at night when two shady characters walk up to a home with scary things on. <laughs> that guy's the, uh, this guy's the, I don't care, this guy's the guy that doesn't follow orders. They're like, okay, stay behind this, he goes, starts walking like, come back here. In their mind, one of them pulls his friend back and points out the ring doorbell, worried about video evidence, it would seem. Well, at least he has a good reason why he told him he grabbed him and flung him back. But unaware that he's been caught on camera, too. The intruders have a brief exchange with someone at home. Can I help you? CPD, we need to ask you a couple questions. Can I see a badge? We would like you to step to the door, please, sir. I don't have to show you my badge, sir. At 35... Yes, you do. See, this guy's a... See, see this man's not no stupid boy. See, some stupid people. A.K. the... I, I'm talking about the person in the house. Not these two idiots. Uh, see, the person that's at the house... 
knows they have to show you the badge. So do not come to the door just because they say police. Do not. If anyone comes to your door saying police, do not l come if they do well, not show you a badge. Just don't come. Because that that just doesn't end well. Do not answer a door if they don't want. They won't show you the badge because they probably ain't police then seconds into the video. The man is caught on camera, pulling down his mask and impersonating a police officer. Meanwhile, the way his friend hangs back looks like he's ready to rush in the moment the door opens. At 1 minute and 26 seconds, his friend walks up to the doorbell cam and does the same weird thing, pulling his mask down while impersonating a police officer. When the person they're looking for doesn't come to his door, the intruders leave. Some scary stuff would have probably happened if he answered. Police investigators later determined at least one of them was armed at the time. Interesting. Because I would have thought if that didn't work, they just would have kept trying. They would have just kicked the door and something like that. They're, they're grown men. These are big ass grown men here. But they won't, if they, once the person won't open the door, they leave. Weird. Number four. Probably proves they're cowards. This creepy clip, taken in Oklahoma City on a doorbell cam, has caught some strange things on video close to 3 a.m. According to the uploader, they heard some weird noises outside and turned on the home security system just in time to see something mysterious they cannot explain. An unexplained spherical object is caught on camera, appearing hell? from around the corner and heading into the house. Did it go under your door? Asks one scared person in the comment section. The uploader reports feeling an immediate calmness upon seeing this orb, like the presence of someone familiar, and suspects it was most likely her father's ghost watching over her. She believes a paranormal experience is what she caught on video. If I heard a noise and saw this outside my door at 3 a.m., I would wonder what the strange light was and if the woods were haunted. Yeah, I'm not sure if I feel calmness from that. No, I don't think I'd ever, I don't think I'd feel calmness at all. Number three. A viral ghost video from India shows a man home alone when the door opens by itself at 15 seconds and a shadow floats into him from behind. The ghost attacks the man and throws him to the ground. The man is caught by the ghost and the attack continues as he's pulled off camera. The ghost video is scary to watch, but he could be simply pretending to get pushed over. Yeah, I call this fake. And somebody could be dragging him by his foot off camera to make it look like a ghost. The shadow that floats into him looks like it could be edited, so this video probably is not real. Number two. I'm glad you at least, I'm glad that will at least enter your mind. Two. Makes you seem more legitimate as a person, because you'll, you'll see a ghost that looks fake and you'll claim it's fake. You'll at least say it's probably fake. Okay. Because it's probably fake. In this scary video from Thailand, a man is doing some home repairs when a spooky surprise leaves him freaked out. Oh, it's a ladder, isn't it? Yeah. A ladder begins moving he's... behind him, and when he turns around, the object stops moving on its own only to start again when he goes back to work. At 33 seconds, he seems to question if something is strange about this situation and moves the ladder back into its place. And that's when things get creepy. Oh no. <laughs> I gotta go back to his reaction. What? <laughs> oh, my dog. I love it. He returns with a large cross and says something to the spirit. Number one. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you, is what he started screaming at the ghost. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, this feels, I feel like so bad for doing these jokes, but I'm just going to keep doing them. Uh, 
I have no comment to that. Some scary moments were caught on camera at a state fair in Glen Burnie, Maryland. Oh god, this scares me, okay. But you have to watch the video twice to see the scary stuff. Okay, thank you, okay, that's good. Now this does not tell me it's not what I thought it was. Okay, good. A mother is recording the amusement ride when the event goes wrong. Watch this clip a second time, and you'll see why it was scary. At 45 seconds into the video, a piece of the amusement ride malfunctions and breaks off, bouncing off Whoa. one of the carts and going airborne Ooh. for a full three seconds before coming back down. Oh. <laughs> oh. It looks like a wheel breaks, and the heavy object could have caused a lot of damage if it landed on someone. The mother herself describes it as a huge chunk of the ride. Yeah, a, a big chunk of the ride fell off while you were on it. Okay, well, I'm glad they got off. That scared me. <laughs> she prop. I was just like, wait a minute, are they continue out. No, they're just. Uh, you could see them. They're doing the ride so they could see where what went wrong. Okay. Probably wouldn't be so casual about it if she knew about the eerie incidents regarding the zipper ride. Multiple lives have been lost over the years, and in the 70s, the US government put out a warning not to go on the zipper because of so many design malfunctions around the world. I was able to find carnival ride failures in both 2017 and 2019. It's scary to think how many times this has happened and how many incidents are yet to come. Yeah, that is, that is scary. Um, thank you all for watching. I uh, hope you had a fun with this reaction like I did. Um, that last one, I was expecting some way worse than it did. Thank God it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will uh, see you for the next one.